Moving on. In Afghanistan, the Taliban's draconian restrictions have plunged the nation into darkness, particularly affecting the rights and opportunities of Afghan women. With millions denied access to education, tens of thousands stripped of employment, and the suppression of women's businesses and activism, the hardline regime has regressed Afghan society, pushing women back into the shadows of oppression. Our report. The Taliban's takeover of Afghanistan in August 2021 marked a significant decline in the nation's human rights landscape. The de facto rulers imposed harsh restrictions on freedom of expression and assembly, using violence to suppress dissent. However, one of the most alarming consequences of their rule has been the devastating impact on women and girls. Many girls were forced out of school and now face early marriages. Women lost jobs and are now struggling to support their families. Some were attacked for opposing the Taliban and forced to flee. According to a recent United Nations report, the Taliban are restricting Afghan women's access to work, travel and health care if they are unmarried or don't have a male guardian. In one incident, officials from the Vice and Virtue Ministry advised a woman to get married if she wanted to keep her job at a healthcare facility, saying it was inappropriate for an unwed woman to work, it said. Furthermore, the Taliban have barred women from most areas of public life and stopped girls from going to school beyond the sixth grade as part of harsh measures they imposed after taking power in 2021 despite initially promising more moderate rule. Recently, on the International Day of Education, UN Special Envoy to Afghanistan, Rosa Otunbaeva highlighted the ongoing denial of education for girls in Afghanistan and urged the de facto authorities to access of education for all. She called on the Taliban to recognize that education is not just a moral imperative but critical for prosperity and peace. The ongoing denial of education for all women and girls, it is not sustainable. As each day passes, the foundation of prosperous and equitable society is weakened. To the women and girls of Afghanistan, please know that you are not alone. The United Nations stands with you in solidarity and do not cease to engage and advocate for your future. This is not just a demand of Western nations, but also of the Muslim world. As recently, we've been at the conference where this presented by the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. Afghanistan's de facto authorities have profound duty to protect and promote these rights for every individual, regardless of gender. To maintain the current path is to only inflict further harm on all Afghans and to leave Afghanistan isolated, both from the Islamic world and the international community. I therefore urge the facto authorities to recognize that education is not just a moral imperative, but critical for prosperity and peace. The Taliban's return and the dissolution of the previous republic on August 15, 2021, rolled back progress in protecting human rights and free society values. This particularly affected women and vulnerable groups, sparking serious concerns about the current human rights situation. Over the past two decades, Afghanistan made significant strides in human rights, democracy, gender equality, education, health care and inclusivity. It served as a regional example with a thriving media landscape and open discourse. However, since August 15, 2021, uncertainty has prevailed, raising fears of human rights violations for activists former government employees, women and minorities. Talibani rulers have severely restricted human rights in the war-torn country. Institutions designed to support human rights 
have been severely limited or shut down completely. Moreover, the de facto rulers of the country have ordered the judges to impose Sharia law. Public executions and floggings are being reported in the country. Under the Taliban, extrajudicial executions are widespread, targeting former government associates, armed group members and those not following Taliban rules. In December 2023, Rosa Otunbayeva briefed the UN Security Council on the situation in Afghanistan, saying that the human rights situation in Afghanistan today is a record of systemic discrimination against women and girls, repression of political dissent and free speech. Afghanistan was an original signatory to this declaration, but the key features of the human rights situation in Afghanistan today are a record of systematic, systemic discrimination against women and girls, repression of political dissent and free speech, lack of meaningful representation of minorities, and ongoing instances of extrajudicial killing arbitrary arrests and detentions, torture and ill treatment. Despite the recent release of two women activists, number of human rights defenders and media workers continue to be arbitrarily detained. The lack of progress in resolving human rights issues is a key factor behind the current impasse. Afghanistan faces grave difficulties, with de facto rulers ignoring world leaders' demands and instead blaming the West for the country's challenges. The Taliban rulers refuse to acknowledge that a more moderate ideology could have led to a better situation in Afghanistan.